down below the surface was really beautiful. The, the play of the sunlight against the surface of the ocean and just as the dome was going below the surface, the splashing of the, the waves up against the dome, it was incredible. Here on a journey to see what we don't know yet about the Twilight Zone, this ecosystem that has not been discovered nearly well enough to make really any informed estimate about how many species are down there. I wasn't thinking about the sub at all. I was thinking about the incredible feeling of being immersed in this mysterious part of the world that so few people have had the opportunity to see firsthand. As you don't feel contained in the sub, you feel part of the environment that you're moving through. I have never been in a submersible before. and We're going to go down at night and what's cool about the critters in the twilight zone, many of them migrate up at night, but many of them do not. We're hoping to see fish, jellies, things that, that we just don't understand very well in the twilight zone. Deep down, we saw many salps. It's quite difficult to judge the size of things that you're seeing through the dome of the sub. One of the salp chains that we saw, he estimated, was at least two meters long. It's really cool. We don't know what's going on down there, but so far, the discoveries are fascinating. It's an important ecosystem that is worthy of protection and worthy of understanding before humans go out there and have an impact on it.